So Marvel Studios just dropped the third trailer for Captain America Civil War. This is my most anticipated film out the entire year. I just saw the trailer today. I watched it at least 10, maybe 15 times. It looks great. I got my Captain America shirt on, got my Captain America backgrounds. It's going down. Let's talk about it. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So I really did love the first Captain America Civil War trailer that they dropped at the end of November of last year. That trailer had me through the roof. I also love the Super Bowl 30 second trailer that they had during the Super Bowl. And this third trailer has me just as excited as the past few trailers goes. The next thing that I like in the trailer is Black Panther. He is one of my favorite characters in all of cinematic history, of comic book history. I said cinematic history of comic book superhero history. It's just something about his his character that makes me feel like he's more of a ninja and the fact that he fights with his hands. And seeing him sprinting down that that highway underground or that tunnel where he's chasing Bucky Barnes and Captain America and is in the back, he dives off a car and claws the back of Winter Soldier's bike and let them have him tumbling. I mean, he is a true warrior. I mean, that is a true panther at work right there. And he is a force not to be messed with. And he just looks so badass. And I cannot wait to see him being introduced into this movie when he is fighting Winter Soldier on the top of that roof and claws something out of his hand. And then the helicopter is up and starts shooting at both of them. He doesn't dip or dodge or anything. Not that he would have to, but he doesn't. I mean, he, his suit is laced with vibranium, the same material that is uh, made out of Cap's unbreakable shield. And his whole suit is laced out of that. So I don't think any helicopter bullets will hurt him that much. I mean, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But from what I saw in that trailer, it just gets me that more excited. And I just cannot wait to see how they handle this character in the film. Now, something else that I really, just overall about the film, that I like this, they're only concentrating on Team Captain America and Team Iron Man facing against each other. Those are not even the true villains of the entire film. I hope they don't ruin it in the TV spots that lead up to the film in the upcoming weeks, but we still have Crossbones as a villain and Baron Zemo and maybe possibly uh, Red Skull, because he's not dead. He didn't die in the first one. I doubt it. I'm, I'm, maybe we'll see him in a post credit screen, Red Skull, but we know that there's going to have to be more Captain America movies, and there's all these villains, and they're just showing Cap vs. Iron Man's team, and there's just, I mean, and it looks like, I mean, that alone looks like it's entertaining enough. That alone will get my 10 15 $20 to see the film and for me to know that there's even more behind the scenes i mean that that they're going to show in the full film i mean my, this is like a dream come true this could turn out to be the most the best comic book movie of all time i mean that is a big pill to swallow but it does have a fighting chance and it is very possible we just have to wait a few more weeks to see so what else did i like about the trailer i like the beginning i like the story I like Black Panther. Something else that it has me just thrill is the fact that you have Ant-Man on Hawkeye's arrow. I've been wanting to see that for the longest, ever since I saw it in comics years ago. I also saw that in Avengers, the Earth Mightiest Heroes, where Hawkeye, not Hawkeye, but Ant-Man was on the edge, on the end of one of Hawkeye's arrows, and he shot it off, and you know, Ant-Man did some badass things. And the way that they put that in the trailer, he's on the arrow, and the arrow is split into like five or six, and he jumps off and, and goes through Iron Man's fingers, and I mean, is he going to go inside of Iron Man's suit and mess it up? I mean, I don't know. I mean, that just looks so amazing. And then you have Scarlet Witch doing her probability voodoo magic power on Vision. And Vision is a badass. And he looks like he is being handled by Scarlet Witch. And I cannot wait to see that. I mean, I, I, it, I don't know what to think of it. I, I thought that Vision would be able to whoop Scarlet Witch, but it seems like she has the upper hand. But I'm hoping that's a pretty nice epic battle too. Now, there wasn't too much more of Falcon in this trailer, uh, which is fine. Or there wasn't anything with Black Widow that stood out so much. Um, but another thing they concentrated on is uh, Rhodey, Don Cheeto playing War Machine. I, I really still wish Terrence Howard was in the role, but hey, you know, things happen and people get switched in and out. But I don't think that Rhodey is going to die. I don't, but I like the way they're, they're putting it out there, making you think he's going to die. But you don't kill comic book characters. You just don't do that. 
I mean, main ones at that. I mean, in my opinion, the idea is for as each film and as the story goes on, as each epic battle, more and more and more and more characters join the fold. Not all the time, but you don't kill characters. I don't think Rhodey is dead. And that's what really just sets Tony Stark off and it pisses him off. Just like, I, I don't, I mean, I don't know. Of course, I haven't seen the movie, but that's how the trailer portrayed it. And he's mad and he backfisted the shit out of Captain America. I was like, damn. I mean, like, when a lot of people was worried, like, oh, they're just not going to be fighting for real. They're just going to be doing patty cakes and, and slapping hands and stuff like that. But no, they look like they're really trying to kill each other. And, I really hope it's for a valid reason. I want them to be able, I want them to try to talk out their differences first and then exhaust all of that and, and leave the fighting as the last option because it was, it would be real stupid if we got all these epic fights through the whole entire movie and in the end it was basically just over a misunderstanding like, oh, why didn't you just say so? That would be horrible. I, I don't think that would be the case, but I think they have that handle. That airport scene looks freaking crazy showing all the heroes coming together i mean i feel like a little kid and then in the end we have spider-man now i would have been okay with not having spider-man in this trailer because it just you want you just want to savor that for the real thing for when you see the film you want to save all the good stuff for the real movie but the way they put it in the trailer um you know i liked it i did not like his costume that may be like a nod back to, you know, the original Spider-Man costume because, you know, that changes. I do like the fact that it's not all shiny and glossy. I mean, in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, the costume looked fantastic. But at the same time, a complaint I had was, okay, this guy's in high school. How is he a seamstress? Is he, I don't know. How is he able to put together such a nice crafty suit? So... It makes sense that the suit doesn't look that advanced and it's a little, you know, mediocre and tiresome. You know, he's in high school. He doesn't have the resources. He's just starting. That's perfectly fine. But I'm not in love with it from just the image I saw. Yes, it's just one image and I'm sure it will look great. And I know as the film progresses and more films come along, his suit, his suit will upgrade. Yes, but if I just had to judge it off that one still shot of Spider-Man... I'm not completely in love with it, but that's okay. So, guys, what did you think of the trailer? I loved it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Have you seen the trailer? Do you need to see it? Look in the description. There will be a link to the trailer in the description box. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section below. Let's get this comment section. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment why and still give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. And if you would like any of my written reviews for upcoming films, you can head over to the site www.justmyopinion.net. Any other social media platforms, you can find me at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video, but thank you again for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.